Hello YouTube, I'm Julia. Um, I'm creating sort of a beauty vlog and blog type brand named Rainbow Rocks Beauty and I'm definitely an amateur when it comes to blogging and vlogging about beauty or anything else and so bear with me here. Um, my blog is rainbowrocksbeauty.tumblr.com and this is going to be my first video, my foundation routine. As you can see, I already did it. Um, I guess it's probably not that great of a thing that I didn't do a full face of makeup or a full tutorial or anything for my very first video, but it's late at night and I'm pulling an all-nighter right now, so sorry. But um, I this is a really cheap, mostly drugstore, um, I, a foundation routine that works ready with different skin types and acne or dry or oily skin. You just have to sort of uh, taper or taper. I'm gonna go with taper. Taper the products to your own needs. Um, so please, please, please keep watching and subscribe and rate and like and tell people about me. I'm obviously not that uh, known at all, but I love beauty and makeup is my passion and. I just, um, you know, I'm an amateur. This is my first video, so bear with me here, and please keep watching. Thank you. Okay, so I start by priming my face with the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Primer. I really like this primer because it keeps my foundation from, um, I guess, settling into my pores, and it keeps my makeup lasting all day, and um, it really um, evens out my skin tone. So I just start by rubbing that all over my face, everywhere that um, any foundation or concealer is going to be. Then I take um, a Tweezerman flat top foundation brush and L'Oreal True Match Lumi in the shade Porcelain Light Ivory. It's a warm shade, and as you can probably see, I really do not have warm toned skin. I have pink toned skin, and so um, I really like this foundation because it warms up my skin without looking too obvious that I'm trying to um, dim down how pink my skin is. And so I just buff that all over the face using kind of all different kinds of motions, tapping motions, circular motions, all sorts of things. And it usually took, takes about um, two layers of this foundation for me to get my desired coverage. And so I just buff that into the skin, building my foundation until I am happy with it, going back, holding the brush really close to the tip um, in some areas where I want like a little bit more precision. And then I go in with the Sigma, Sigma F70 concealer brush and just a physician's formula um, concealer called Natural Light. I normally use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla, but just for the sake of making a foundation video, I'm using this cheaper one. So, I put that all over um, sort of my zits and blemishes and definitely get under the nose because that's an area where I often get redness. And so it's important to me to um, really conceal that area so that the redness doesn't show throughout the day. And then I take the Sigma E60 large shader brush and sort of use that to blend out where I put concealer. And I think this brush is really underrated because it does a great job of blending out concealer. And it's just, oh, I just love this brush. I think everyone needs this brush. And then last but not least, I use a translucent, translucent powder by Avon, it's called Smooth Minerals, and I use the shade Transparent Glow M01 with the Sigma Large Powder F30 brush, and this doesn't offer coverage as a powder, it just really gives me a finish that I like, and I... Um, I think it helps make my makeup stay longer, and it adds a little bit of color and just still um, helps even out my skin tone, but it doesn't add any coverage. And then I take my Tweezerman brush again and with powder on it and go back into some more um, blemishy or uneven toned areas um, just to keep it looking good. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe.